Before I explain the leaks, watch this video. Here you can see Rip Indra in the new reworked Hydra Island. The first things you may notice are the increased number of buildings in the surrounding areas compared to the Hydra Island, which we have now. Let's just go to Hydra Island real quick to see how it looks currently so we can compare it. Moving on, Indra climbs the little new road which is present to the left of the island Empress Fortress. This seems to lead to the Dragon Dojo which Uzoth has made. Here's what Indra said about it. Guns have been reworked from the ground up with enhanced mechanics and visuals. Hydra Island has been fully reimagined. The famous Uzoth has built a dojo in the cliffs packed with new challenges. We can also see how the new reworked gun looks like Indra has only shown one of the reworked gun which is Serpent Bow and it looked pretty good. This is how the Serpent Bow looks like right now. And these are its moves. If we look at Indra's waist, we can also see the new reworked sword. This sword is most probably Yama, but I may be wrong. This is how Yama looks like on Indra's waist. We can also see the new icons, which each represent Instinct, Awakening, Haki, Race Ability, and Flash Step. Another important thing is we can now see the cooldown of these abilities, so it's much easier to tell when your ability has been restored during PvP, especially Instinct, since it's very important while PvPing. Now let's compare the photos sent by Zartanya. I will show you the before and after images of these places. First one is near the Island Empress. The second one is all the way across these houses opposite to the Island Empress Fortress. The third one is the waterfall where we can get Yama. The last one is the docks connected to the island, which looks much better, in my opinion. Well guys, thank you for watching. Also, huge thanks to Indra and Zarthania for these leaks. Let's hope the update is near. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like the video, and bye.